What's going on everybody? Dato Doi here with another guide for Dragon Ball Fighters, this time focused around the Vanish mechanic. You can perform the Vanish mechanic by clicking the Medium and Heavy button on your controller at the same time. This mechanic allows you to disappear and reappear behind your opponent and kick them. Obviously there's a little more to the mechanic than just that, or I wouldn't have to make a full video on it. So let's go ahead and dive into the intricacies of this Vanish mechanic. A lot of the time you'll see this mechanic used when somebody's doing a block string on you in order to appear behind you. Now you might think that if you block this, your reward should be that it's now your turn to play some offense, but in this game it's actually different. The Vanish is actually positive on block, so if you click any button and they click a button, then you're going to be put into a combo. So the number one most important thing to remember about Vanish is that if they hit you with Vanish on the ground like this, don't click a button. We'll cover some other things in this video that you can do other than this, as there's a lot of better options. Before we cover that though, let's take a look at what you should do if you know a Vanish is coming and they're not putting you in a block string. So if you're in neutral and you know they're going to click Vanish, just wait until after the Vanish and then quickly down heavy them on reaction. This will launch them into the air and you can just perform a full combo on them, just like you would after any down heavy. Now we can go back over to talking about what you can do if they vanish during one of their block strings. The first thing you can do is use Reflect. After they vanish, if you time your Reflect and they click a button, you should be able to knock them back, which if they're used to clicking buttons after a vanish, might cause them to keep clicking buttons. You can simply punish them with a down medium or any attack that your character specifically has that you know will allow you to get a combo off. Be careful though, if you get too obvious with using this Reflect, your opponent can bait this out of you and that can lead into an even more damaging punish from them. So don't rely on Reflect too much. In order to mix it up sometimes, you can also go with a Backdash. After you block a Vanish, you can simply Backdash and get away from the pressure. And again, if they're just used to clicking buttons, you can just Instant Air Dash in and get a punish on them. But unfortunately, just like using Reflect, this can also be dangerous if you do it too often. Let's say your opponent goes behind you with a Vanish and you guard it, and then opt to go for a Backdash. Instead of clicking any buttons, they can just dash after you, and then they can hit you with a button during your dash. Or even if you are guarding, you're simply put back in the pressure that you were trying to escape from anyway. But the funny thing is, if they choose to dash after you, then the first thing about Vanish we covered actually becomes the opposite. Now clicking buttons is the right thing you're supposed to do. So if you dash back a lot, and your opponent sees this and starts to dash after you, you can notice this and the next time he vanishes, you can just opt to click buttons and go into a full combo right away. And now you're starting to see the rock, paper, scissors element of it all, which is kind of a core component of a lot of fighting games. Before we end this video, I do want to cover one last important thing about Vanish. Vanish is not really a wake-up tool. If they hit you with a media attack or an attack that hits you as soon as you recover, Vanish is just going to get you hit and you'll see counter pop up. Vanish doesn't take place on frame 1, which means it isn't an invincible get out of jail free card. So you gotta be careful with it. If you're in a situation where you get hard knocked down in the corner and really want to vanish, just guard for a little while longer and wait for another opening to vanish. But that's going to be it for me in this video. I know it was kind of short, but I just really wanted to cover this vanish technique as I've seen a lot of people lose ranked games simply because they don't know what to do after a vanish. If you're one of these people and didn't know these things about vanish, I would like to hear down in the comments which way in this video you think you would use the most. I'll be down there as always. And while you're down there, if you like this video and channel, remember to hit the like button and subscribe. I put out new Dragon Ball Fighters videos every day. I'm Dato Doya, and I'll see you in the next one.